looks so good. <laughs> Carter looks so good. Thanks. It doesn't stop so good. Um, the Evo has some old brakes. We have some new custom made rotors by Adams Rotors and then we have some new pads and stuff. So I'm going to be doing a stop test to see how quickly the car can stop before and after. So I'm going to do one more. I'm going to 60 miles an hour and I am hammering the brakes as hard as I can. My goal is to stop before this barrier. So this car has, this car has very, not stock brakes. I'll show you guys here in a minute, but it's got older brakes and not very aggressive pads. So I'm going to uh, do a stop comparison between now and uh, later. I've got brand new custom made rotors from Adams Rotors and then I got some very aggressive pads as well. So hopefully, hopefully we can uh, stop before this little barricade right there. I'm going 60 miles an hour to this pole way back there. Hopefully we can stop a little bit quicker. Yo, and check this out. This is really cool. This weekend, I went to a car show, the rooftop meet, and I won $1,000. And it, the sign is as tall as me. But here's the cool part. Well, I took this money and I donated it to uh, two different charities. A couple charities near and dear to my heart. One is building uh, freshwater wells for people in Liberia. So people can actually have fresh water. And two, another 500 to Beneath the Skin because they're huge for us. And it's amazing to think that uh, winning a car show with an Evo might like might actually allow a village of people to drink fresh water for the first time. It's, it's incredible. So I'm really stoked about that. I love this. I've never had a big check before and it's literally, it's the size of me. It's literally almost as tall as me. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna put this in the garage somewhere, but that's, anyways, that's beside the point of the video. Um, let me show you something really awesome. I've already unboxed them because I, uh, I couldn't wait any longer, but here are the new rotors for the Evo 10. These are from Adams Rotors. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, do you guys a favor and give you guys a link in my description. They have incredible designs, a bunch of custom different designs you can do. Like if you just check out the dude, the quality of these is just absolutely unmatched. And I could not be more stoked. These are actually the same brand of rotors that I used on my STI. And you guys loved so incredibly much. I'm excited to be running some custom slotted rotors again. They'll look a lot better and perform a lot better than these. I really think these are just some like <sighs> O'Reilly brand drill slot. It's really just very basic. And I'm not huge into drilled, so I'm stoked to be changing them. And along with that, I got some EVC yellows. This is what I always run. Uh, but before we get going, I do want you guys, I want to encourage you guys to check out Adam's Rotors. There's tons of custom designs. I have a link for you guys right at the top of the description. Do me a favor and just check them out. Brembo's are usually all the exact same design. I, you guys are not gonna like this, I know. Only the faces of my calipers have been painted. Don't hit me for it. But I have to show you anyways. <laughs> they usually have two pens. Uh, even six piston Brembo's will have two pens. You just knock these little pens out, and then after you get these pens out, it allows the, uh, it allows the pads to slide out. But it's super easy. Also, the first rule of thumb to working on brakes is never wear anything white. I've already broken that rule, but still, I want you to still trust me. I'm still credible, I promise. But don't wear white when you're doing brakes. It's a terrible idea. It's pulled out, and that dies. And those. And these should now be free to pop out. And this should, well, all right, in theory, should want to move up. <laughs> much of a lip on them. There's a lot of uneven patches, so I'm definitely uh, excited that we're gonna be changing. These aren't too bad. But my new ones are better. Here is the correct front. What I'm gonna do is take my brake cleaner, get all that crime and glue and whatever it is off of this. Those are massive. So your wheel is going to be rotating like this, and it doesn't matter too much how you do this, but it, technically this is the way you're supposed to do it. Your wheel is going to be rotating like this. So your brake pad is right here. You basically want this in a straight line contacting the pad like that, because what this does 
is uh, it pushes out gases trapped in the pad. So it basically allows the gas to travel straight out this way, but if you have it the other way to where it just meets it flat like that, you don't, it kind of eliminates the point of having a slotted rotor. So probably was a terrible explanation, but in my mind it worked. So if it didn't work for you, I'm sorry, but it did for me. Pads are a like fish. You know what I mean? I feel like I've said that before, and I think people have agreed with me. Smell that. Smell like fish. Mm. You no, know, I'm right. I'm definitely right. <gasps> That's pretty. I pretty like that. gross. It's the anti fish smell sauce, right? No, it smells worse. <laughs> oh, yep, I just got a whiff of something. Yeah, it smells bad. Okay, this side went way, way smoother and easier. And it looks amazing. Let me show you guys. I am stoked with how these turned out. Maybe I'm just, I don't I mean, <laughs> This looks so good. It looks so good with that deep dish. Look, <laughs> it looks in here. Oh, it's so good. I went ahead and finished. I mean, I'm done with both sides. I need to do the rears now. But, uh, it says a little dirty because I had a lot more problems and I had to smack things and punch things, but it looks good, dog. You recording? The rears are just literally like the fronts, except they're smaller, they're miniature rear. I can't say I'm huge, hugely fond of the... <coughs> it smells like fish <laughs> every time. I can't say I'm, I'm fond of the, the bolt placement. It's very hard to get to these back here, but I've seen worse. Like, it's, it smells like Chinatown almost. Oh, I mean, let me smell it. Or, oh no, think of, think of like, <laughs> from out of the like, it. dead dissection. No, nope, it doesn't smell like that to me. You're wrong. All it's, every, every time you've been wrong so far. They're yeah, little, these dishes are little. Those are tiny. Are you guys like my glasses? Ah, me too. It's for safety, so that my clout doesn't decrease. Yeet. What the? E brake was on. <laughs> now that is epic. So this job was, um, I'll, I'll say, oddly easy. Usually it takes like two to three hours to do brakes, and you usually like cross thread stuff and things don't fit right and they mess up, but for some reason everything works really well, so I'm a little suspicious, but it worked out really well, and they look amazing, and yes, I do have multiples of these shirts. I have three. The first one is a toss away. This, these, this one is the good one. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you. They look amazing. The brakes just look absolutely incredible. I already showed you that one. You don't want to see that. But I got the rears on too now. And I am excited. They look so nice, dude. Anyways, it all looks good. Everything's torqued down and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and lower this sucker down. Lower this puppy down. And we are going to go have some fun and bed the pads and rotors together. Get them married. Let them have a nice honeymoon. There's a bunch of ways to correctly bed your brakes. I'm just going to go ahead and do the way that I have always done it. Um, you can go 40 to 0, you can go 60 to 0, you can go 60 to 20, 100 to 0. Basically, as long as you just roast the ish out of your brakes, you're good. I mean, if your brakes are not on fire at the end of bedding them, then you ain't doing it right. Alright, 60 to 40, that was good. I can feel it really, really starting to catch. I'm gonna do a couple 40 to zeros so that they can really lock up. Boom, baby. I like that. Now I got this nice open road. Do a couple more 40 to zeros and that should be good. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I can smell God's work happening right now, baby. Woo! Oh yeah, I'm getting some lovely feedback here. 60 to zero now. Oh my God, let's go, baby. All right, these puppies definitely got hot. You can tell because they've lost their, uh, their brush look. <laughs> now, let's do the brake test. It's always fun, like, being able to compare before and after. That's my favorite part. That's my favorite type of stuff. That's a whole block. Are you...
you kidding me? This is where he stopped last time. You were all the way up here. This is where I am now. This is where I was before. I'd say that's pretty good. <laughs> exact same place last time too. Yeah. I think I was going a little faster on this because I was like, I don't know what I was focusing on, but I, I'm pretty sure I was actually going a little quicker this round than the first one. So I, I mean, these brakes obviously work a lot better and it's obvious what happens when you get a nice, a nice rotor and pad set up. Dude, I, I love, 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 love the look of these rotors. But man, Adam just gave me so much clout. Look how much more clout I got, bro. Look how sick these look. <laughs> These are so good. I think I deserve it. I definitely deserve these right now. A huge shout out to Adam's rotors. They obviously work so well and they look so good. The quality is unreal. Do you want to feel what it's like to full on stop? From like 60 to zero? Yeah. It's smelly. Uh, hey, make sure you guys check out Adam's Rotors again. There's a bunch of different designs on their site. There's literally a ton. And they uh, you can see all of those whenever you check them out. Another huge thanks to them. This car stops incredibly well. It's one more step closer just to being a really, 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 really enjoyable dr driving car. I just need some sway bars and a quarter balance and we're good. I keep saying it, but big thanks to Adam's Rotors. Adam's Rotors, Adam's Rotors, Adam's Rotors, Adam's Rotors, Adam's Rotors. Can't, can you say that five times fast? Everything looks incredible, everything performs even better, and I'm psyched about it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Again, link in the top of the description. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for finally some more Subaru content. Peace out and be victorious.